there is no need at the moment to rush in and try to stock up or even to pay in black to try and procure the MDCVR. It is no magic pill at the moment that can help you either keep away from COVID or to help you cure as well. Dr. Sunil Agarg remains with us. So let's take our first caller now. Uh, we have Madhu Sudhan from Noida joining us. So Madhu Sudhan, please go ahead with your question. Uh, my question very straightforward. My aunt is actually diagnosed with COVID and she's in requirement of the medicine, the injection basically remdesivir. Now the prescription is there for six injections, but I've been sourcing left, right and center and not you know, getting any positive response from any pharmaceutical. So if you guys can help me in any which way, thank you. Could you tell us, Madhusudan, at what stage, what is the condition of your aunt and it's what hospital this is? There. So I've actually, uh, you know, uh, looked at uh, the comments from the doctors and it's the similar situation. It's not that severe. It is at the stage where you can actually, you know, uh, uh, give these injections and she can just come out of the hospital. That's what our requirement is and that's why it's been prescribed as well. Okay. Dr. Garg, so there are patients who genuinely need it and intervention is required. What should they do? Basically, first of all, she is in which hospital in Noida? We have to look at that part, you know, and then we have to have a dialogue with the doctors that basically an alternative can be provided as we say that right now we just discussed that only remdesivir is not the answer. Is there because an alternative that they can try? Definitely. You see, it is a consulting doctor. He will have a review at the situation hmm. and, you know, it depends upon how much is the, you know, involvement of the lung and that's where we need to look at from that perspective also. Okay, so uh, Dr. Garg, could you tell us what are the alternatives really at this point to remdesivir? Primarily, we have to first see that, you know, as uh, was pointed out by, you know, Dr. Sumit also and Dr. Randeep also, that remdesivir is not the only answer. It is required for very, very critical persons and that was only tried, you know, earlier. We also found in several papers that this is not the only answer. So we can use other repurposive drugs because that will depend upon, you know, the prescriber's habits. Also, other antiretroviral drugs are also there which can be used. But remdesivir is not the answer. Let me tell you because I cannot put the, you know, the drugs into doctors, this thing, because every doctor has got his own prescribing habits. Mm -hmm. And I will always say that, you know, whichever hospital it is, let the hospital procure mm -hmm. the medicines. If they are mm -hmm. prescribing it, let them procure it themselves which is there with them. And then basically two things which always work are oxygen and steroids. These okay. are two things which will always work for the patients and see that the oxygen level does not fall. That is important. And as was pointed out, good counseling, care and support is one thing which matters for the patient. And then again, you know, let's see whether it is a viral pneumonia. Dr. Garg, there is no room for counseling. We barely get any face time with the doctors at all. So uh, that's clearly for another day. Devinder Kuvar is with us, joining us from Ahmedabad. Please go ahead with your question. Yeah, yeah I have been uh, diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. So I'm on a regular ACQS and steroid supplement. Hmm. And uh, on a week, I need to go for a metotrexid injection. So on such condition, on immunosuppressant condition, am I allowed to go for a vaccine? That's my query. Sure. Actually, you should go for the vaccine because you are already, uh, you know, suffering from rheumatoid arthritis and you are on immunosuppressants. But you have to talk to your provider that, you know, you can skip the dose of immunosuppressant before the vaccine and you can take it just after the vaccine. So that is important part. So you have to just consult your provider and take your medication paper also to the vaccination. All right, so consult your doctor and ensure that uh, do get the vaccine. That's number one. Yes. There, there is no reason that you should be skipping at all. But do keep your doctor in, uh, in sync as well and let him decide how he wants to move around your questions. All right, uh, so Hale from Karnataka is with us. Go ahead with your question. My question is why government don't want to be a pharmacy graduate to work for COVID task force as already lacks of qualified pharmacy doctors are eligible to work as a student. Uh, studied equal to the MBBS and same allopathy, and for they are studied for six years for this course. Dr. Garg. Dr. Yeah, I feel that you know uh, you are talking of the family physicians. That is, if I could get you correctly, because family physicians can do a very important job of you know identification and referral of those who are really requiring them. And also at the same time, you see, basically, I feel that you, know, if I have got your question correctly, that you are a family physician. And you are an allopathic doctor. Did I get you correctly? No, Dr. Garg, he was uh, trying to say trying that to uh, there should be more and more uh, students who are not qualified to do very major 
uh, sort of who are not MDs, etc. at the moment, shouldn't they also be used in the force to try and fight out the disease? I, I think there is no, uh, there, there is really no other answer to this. There, more and more people are required should be brought in. But they can definitely sonal participate in rapid response team where they can help us in testing, treating, treatment, treatment. So they can help us in identification of more and more people. And then, you know, they can facilitate their testing part and they can put them to the liaison them for the treatment and isolation also. They have got a very, very important role to play because I feel that what we lack today is correct information. This is where if we can give uh, given the opportunity, they, they will be definitely utilized. Because we have a lot of dearth of manpower as far as, you know, we are working on rapid response teams who are uh, working on testing treatment and track. Information is key. Facts are key. So keep yourself uh, braced with all of those. We hope today's episode has been able to help you and tell you that uh, please do not rush for MD severe and do not get into a panic mode. There are enough uh, supplements to it. There are enough things that you can take in place of remdesivir if that is even if you need it at the first go. So keep yourself informed. Thank you, uh, Dr. Garg, as well for joining us with the very latest. That's it on the program.